Hi, I'm Tom Poitras, and this is our countdown to kickoff. They, they've got some good experience coming back. They've got a lot of juniors and seniors in their team. So that is always a bonus when you're starting the season early on um, to have that experience factor. But for us, um, we just need to come out and take care of ourselves. The early part of the season, we worry, tend to worry more about ourselves than we do the other team um, because we're trying to just get everything right and fix the things we want to see from our preseason games. I think the, the jitters are with the young guys and the older guys, it's excitement. So it's a, a balance of trying to find a, a happy medium between being overexcited and, and over enthusiastic and being able to think and do the things you need to early in the game. So we'll try and get the older guys to just like, you know, relax and, and enjoy the game. But at the same time, the younger guys hopefully will be calm and, and have a good presence to them watching the older guys. No, I'm, I'm not overly superstitious. I'm more of one. I just worry more about the preparation and the, and the little details to make sure everything is in place. We try to make sure, you know, between the assistants, myself, and then the players, that everything that is supposed to happen happens. Um, so it's not as much superstitions as just making sure we follow through with every little detail. Yeah, that, that's huge. Last year we were at West Virginia and, and Penn State to open the season. So this year being home is, is a nice bonus. Hopefully we get a nice crowd. The students are starting to come back on campus today. Um, so that should be a good bonus, a little a burst of energy for our guys. But it's also, you know, we also know we haven't won our opening game for a couple of years. So that's something that's on the back of our minds as well. David's, you know, he's coming along nicely. Uh, obviously, it's going to be his first real game since last year in September, so he's still got some kinks to work out. He's in the process of, you know, getting himself back up to 100%, but he's doing really well, and, and we're looking forward to seeing, you know, what he can produce tonight and, and how he can help the team moving forward. Well, I, I think, you know, in the back, you'll see Jamie Hyde will, will start in the back for us, and, and he will have a really good presence. You know, he's a, a very good center back, very composed on the ball. Um, Romario Jones is someone who will probably start in the center or midfield, and he's another guy who's very composed. And, and good on the ball can make things happen from the midfield. And then Jeff Tryon has been someone we've been really impressed with up front. He's uh, battling and working hard and, and causing defenses a lot of problems. So whether he starts or comes in, he'll be he'll get himself some good time, and that'll be a nice bonus for us as well. Uh, it's probably chicken and rice or chicken and pasta, the, whatever Mike and Max have drummed up for him, but it's been pretty consistent with the pastas and chicken. Uh, you know, a little overcast isn't too bad. We want to make sure it's a nice enough night that the crowd comes out and, and gives some good support. But, uh, you know, 70, 75 degrees is perfect weather to play in. It's coming together. It's a work in progress all the time because there are a lot of different thought processes and a lot of different images and how they think the game should be played. So it's always, that's the fun part of coaching all the international guys is trying to pull it together with all our American players that come from different parts of the country as well. Our country being so big, it can be different just from New Jersey to Connecticut, but then let alone when you get to the Midwest and Green Bay, how people approach the game. So it's pulling it all together. And I think that's still something that will continue to get better and better as we go. Anthony, uh, Damon, and David have been doing a really good job providing some good leadership. I think the one thing they're doing for us is they've changed kind of how the guys are approaching things on a daily basis, whether it's in the locker room, on the field, the training room, when we've gone in the pool. There's a very, a lot more of a serious approach to things, and I think those guys are really a big part of that. They're very result-oriented, and they're very driven to have some success this year. So that's trickling down into the rest of the team. So we're looking forward to seeing how they can carry, the rest of the rest, carry that through the rest of the season.